Fry train here at Chase Scott Drifts, just building up engines. It's fucking sick up in here. This thing's going up. Oh! Alrighty, we're out here, back out in the shed. Cold, wet winter's day. But yeah, we're gonna keep cranking on this thing. So I just gotta clean the engine bay. As you can see, it's looking absolutely filthy. Uh, well, it's not too bad, but it's still gross. Uh, I wanna put the oil cooler and filter and sandwich plate on the motor before I put it in because it's not easy to do up when it's actually in there. Uh, and I need to screw my oil pressure gauge sensor into that sandwich plate as well before I put it in there. Yeah, so it's just gonna get stuck into it. Oh, I decided I'm not gonna put the oil filter cooler and shit on before I put the motor in because it's just gonna be a nightmare, but I'm gonna give this bay a bit of a sprucing, so this is the before. You can see all the overspray and shit. Doesn't look as bad on camera, but it's pretty shocking. And yeah, we'll see what we can make it look like. Yeah, so I got sick of that pretty quickly. So uh, that's gonna stay the way it is. A little bit of overspray getting about, but who gives a shit? So I got my GK Tech solid aluminium engine mounts here, and they have little rubber things that go either side. And I'm missing one. So I just cut up a bit of silicon hose, roughly. It's a bit thick though, so, so I got a belt sander here. Tipped on its head, becomes a bench grinder. And I'm just gonna make this a bit thinner and round the edges a bit. Custom. So I thought it'd work better in my head, but yeah, I can make do with that. Custom. Right, yeah, hopefully pretty noisy in here because of all the rain, but yeah. Gonna have a crack getting this motor in. So I got it sitting up there, got the car jacked up, axle stands under it, got the gearbox mount and cross member ready to go in, so. And push her over and it's just going to slide straight in. It's not going to hit anything, it's just going to go mm. Motor is in. Yeah. Fucking stoked. Gearbox is all bolted up and drive shafts in and engine mounts have been tightened down. Looking good. Good to see I have a heart again. It's been a while. Yeah. Now I've got a bundle of fucking wires to hook up. Wires everywhere and plumbing. Got fuel lines, uh, catch can, uh, dump pipe and bits and pieces, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna start plumbing it up and hooking it all up. progress starting to look like a motor so I got all the well, pretty much all the wiring hooked up and the plumbing the fuel lines and stuff like that and the oil filter and oil cooler starting to come together now hook the slave cylinder up to the gearbox and the clutch seems to be feeling all good just dug out the radiator and intercooler and stuff so I'm gonna start putting that on I reckon Yeah, that's how we are, baby. <laughs> Alright, so it's the next day and I've just been buttoning up a few things on the motor. Getting pretty damn close to starting it. Not far off now. The motor's looking pretty complete. Got it all hooked up. I haven't finished hooking the intercooler pipe up because I'm just going to 
let it blow some shit through there and clean out the intercooler piping. But yeah, I've got to put some oil in it and then take the spark plugs out and then hopefully just crank it, get the oil pump going and yeah, get oil in places, put the plugs back in and yeah, should be right to kick her in the guts. Plugs are out. It's got oil. It's got water. Uh, yeah, let's see if the battery's not flat. I'll give it a bit of a prime of the fuel pump and give it a crank. See if it cranks. Hopefully it cranks. A better crank. Hopefully they haven't forgotten it. Woo! Good draw. This is frightening. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't go bang. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Crash. Crash. There it was. Yep. Give another go. Oh, you know what? I haven't tightened my harmonic balancer. Got your wrench in there. Might do that. Yeah. Let's look up the spare. For the harmonic balancer, so I can talk about it, because I just realised that I didn't tighten it. Mate, oh, bang, bro, give us a clear. Yeah, give us a go. Low cloud. Got some vapors in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Low fat O. You can vape a lot, bro. <laughs> oh fuck, it tastes a bit good. Fuck oh, the dash slides. That's slow as well. Look at this Can you hear a burst in a laugh? Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. Sorry, I'm nervous though. It cranks fine, but it should run. I don't know how well it will run, but it should run. It's just gonna fucking purr, mate. It is, isn't it? It is. I think we're good. Intercooler pipes put in, spark plugs are in, coil packs are in and plugged in, so let's hope for the best. Kick her in the guts. Ready? Yeah.
a bit rough when she's cold and hot, I think. Perfect, Evans. Yeah. Wow. Fucking hope. Yes! It works! Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised. Oh, yeah, he's better. Might need to clean that filter out. And she's alive again, fucking over the moon. Stoked to see it running again and see all the hard work finally paying off. She seems to be running pretty damn smooth. Uh, the squeaking sound is the power steering because there was no fluid in there, but I dropped some in there and it went away. So yeah, it seems pretty buttery smooth. The next video will be me taking it up the street and breaking the motor in, getting those piston rings settled in. And yeah, once I've broken it in, probably Going to be throwing bigger injectors in it and going to get a tune. Probably turn the power up a little smidge more. It's at 250 rear wheel kilowatts at the moment, but wouldn't mind squeezing just a smidge more out of it. Why not? Not too much though, because I'll just start breaking the gearbox and everything else behind it. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and like and leave a comment. And yeah, stay tuned for when I break the motor in. Been down for my fam. Don't care about nothing People think I'm the man Shit, I ain't changed Where were you fuckers when I needed you? Now they all scream, we believe in you Claim to be mates, they deceiving you Now they all fake to your face when they meeting you I don't need them, these snakes trying to stitch to my P.O. You feel she taking my freedom Now I got real ones